AI art and trailers, uh, AI like, like posters and stuff, I guess is a really uh, point of contention for a lot of people. It's not for me. Uh, I, I see an a art, AI art all the time on like my Pinterest page or somebody else's head stuck on somebody else's bodies. And I'm just like, whatever. Uh, move on. William Shatner is talking about it. He defends using his AI for hideous new album cover. Uh, wow. Uh, his small head with a weird proportion body. Uh, a fat body, it looks like. like, like, like some, guys, some people are built like that. They got like, like really thick legs. But his head is just... What the heck is going on? Like that's that's terrible. That's bad AI art. <laughs> like out of all the all the AI art out there, you couldn't have found a better use for that one. And I know there's people out there like you shouldn't be using AI art because it takes away from the real artists that make the pictures. And it's like I don't get on that horse. Uh, it's like it's gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna be happening. Uh, for the rest of time now that we have those tools available to us. And if you're a good artist, then you will use those tools to help and develop your own material. Um, so I, I, I'm not like uh, saying like use it all the time, but I'm saying that uh, I don't, it's, it's the easy way to do it. Yeah. It takes away work from people, but it's kind of like some some industries die out, man, and it sucks. I think artists artists will always have a place. If you're a good artist, if you're a really good artist, people will find your work. Because it gets passed on. Anyway, William Shatter, did the portrait artists of the 19th century storm the house of Jeru over the development of the camera? And compared to cameras today, they are very antiquated. So let's progress. Let so let progress happen. It's clearly meant to be an AI in its simplest form because it's a children's album. Yeah, yeah. I guess he he wrote he did like a children's album, right? <laughs> but he made some interesting points. Yeah, like when the camera came around, were 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 the people so vocal about it? Um, and there's tools out there, guys, that you, you look through a little device and it, uh, you can trace uh, the outlines of things. And artists have been using that for centuries. Uh, does that take away from art? No. It's about like composition, uh, placement of things, uh, contrast and colors. What are you, what are you using kind of thing, right? So uh, I, I'm not, I'm not somebody who, who frets over the AI use. But it does create some very interesting things. Uh, and, when, and I'll tell you this too, and this is one of the reasons why I want to watch this. There was an AI trailer released for uh, Bond 26 with Henry Cavill as Bond. Fake art, obviously. Um, people want to see Henry Cavill as Bond. <laughs> This seems to be like the only way that we're going to get it because Barbara Broccoli, the people who own uh, the property of Bond, are, have made it clear they want to go young, right? So it's kind of like this is our this is the only way that people are going to see it by putting together these fake AI trailers. And if you're like, well, it's only a couple of people, James. No, it's not. 3.4 million people <laughs> want to see this happen, right? So uh, Margot Robbie in there, whatever, uh, Bond girl, then she would be a fantastic Bond girl. Uh, I, there is a huge market out there for these fake trailers. And I kind of like, I've always pushed the, I've always had this idea of like, for my industry of like supply chain and stuff, there's uh, the ideas of pushing stuff to market and then pulling to market. Um, supermarkets are, are pushing stuff out to the market. Here's a bunch of stuff that we bought. We're putting it on the shelves. You come in and see if you like it or not. And when you're pulling something is when you get demand for it. And then you're like, oh, somebody wants me to make this for them. Okay, I'll go out and make it for them because that's what they want. That's is being pulled out to the market, right? Uh, and if you can tap into that, 
um, that's kind of like, well, people want this, so we're giving it to them. We're not telling people that this is what people want to see, right? We're not telling people that they want to see a new Ray movie in the Star Wars universe. Because nobody's saying that we want to see a Ray movie in the next Star Wars movie. You're telling us. But people are saying that we want to see a Henry Cavill, James Bond. They're pull, they're, they're, they're pull, if you use the pull principle here, there's a way that you can make a Bond movie with Cavill. Don't make it huge expensive. You know, like it doesn't have to be big and flashy like every other Bond film. It doesn't have to belong. Bond has had, prop, had people come in and out of it where it's not. It, it doesn't have to be this thing where it gets bogged down with this idea of, well, we can only have the next Bond if he's going to be Bond for 12 or 15 years. Sorry. It's, it hasn't been like that in the past. George Lazenby would have to say something about that, <laughs> right? Uh, so why couldn't you just do a quick little one-off with Henry Cavill? Feed that fan base that's clamoring for this, that wants this, right? And make you a little bit of cheddar on the side. Can someone please start a petition to make Henry the next James Bond? I have nothing against Aaron Taylor Johnson, but uh, we all know Henry was the best fit for this. Yeah. Um, so the points that I want to make are like the push and pulling to market. There's, there's, there's people wanting to see it. So why not give it to us? That's what I, I don't fathom out there. It's kind of like, well, you don't let the fans tell you what you want to see. Yeah, but they're not telling you what the story is going to be here. They just want to see the casting. And there's nothing wrong with the castings of things. Is there? Uh, it's just people get fixated on this idea of it's got to be 10 or 15 years kind of thing. And in, in certain cases, it's it's merited, right? Um, Blade is an example of this right now in the MCU. Of Marshall Ali is going to be fifty by the time they start shooting the next Blade movie, and then you want want him to be sixty by the time they're done his little run there. I don't know, man. It, see, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. That's where it's like pertinent, right? Because you don't want to. If you're going to just have a one-off Blade movie, fine. But it's not, it, like, it depends, it depends on the property where it's going to be used, right? So we, what do we see here? We got trailers in here for The Mummy with Keanu Reeves. We got trailers for that show The Red Hulk. People want to see The Red Hulk. Why not give it to them? Work that part of, I, I think we are going to get The Red Hulk. I just, I don't know if it's going to be in Thunderbolts or not or Captain America Brave New World. But I think we eventually will get the Red Hulk. Uh, yeah. So those, those are just some interesting ideas that I thought uh, we could talk about there for uh, AI art and AI in trailers. Uh, I, I, maybe I'll publish a short about that trailers thing there. Because I think there's enough meat there that could pique people's curiosities. For a quick little short, you may get maybe 500 views or so. All right, let's move on to some hit or miss headlines.